Sense coach Dave Bell, a pretty gritty win, I, I would consider that. Uh, how would you classify that uh, overtime victory here tonight? I thought, exactly. I thought the guys, there were some guys that were banged up. Some guys left the game. Some guys came back into the game that were hurt and gave great effort, uh, dug deep. And then obviously the story of the game is uh, Ferguson, and it's just an outstanding story. Um, Land of opportunity. He got an opportunity. It was a great story. He was on his way to the ECHL, and um, we were fortunate enough to acquire him and come in with a performance like that. It's awesome. Yeah, he was outstanding. Um, and not to say that uh, you didn't necessarily expect that from him, but um, was there a point in the night where maybe you realized that he was pretty locked in and, and was going to uh, be a big key in, in the result? Pretty early on, like he was solid all night. Like he didn't, he was really, really good. But he made a couple big saves in the first, and it just kept building, and they kept coming, and bigger saves in the second, and then obviously some huge saves in the third. But uh, no, he was locked in, and you, you do get that feeling on the bench and the guys and their comments about, you know, they that inspired them to, you know, dig deep or come back from a little ding or an injury and, and keep playing for him because he was playing so well. Um, what were the other keys uh, to the win tonight? Pretty pretty tight uh, game both ways. Well, we wanted to play five on five. Uh, they got a pretty dangerous power play, and they struggled a little bit to score five on five, and we knew that, so we wanted to play five on five. And and they got some speedy, their top two lines are pretty speedy, so it would conscious effort to stay above them and, and uh, make them skate through bodies. So I thought we did that for the most part because they're a pretty good transition team and uh, just grinding out an ugly road win, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, I know Angus Crookshank was one of those uh, players who left the game. Uh, is there any update on him, or will we have to wait to see tomorrow? Yeah, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, you, you mentioned you know guys coming in and out with injuries. It's sort of been the story of your season. Uh, do you, is it, the team sort of just used to that at this point? Is it sort of just yeah? Another I think, game. I think our our organization's used to it. I mean, it's every year it seems like this, but it's it's it's. I mean, players that come up, they've made careers. We've had guys that have been here all year that started on PTOs and are on second PTOs now. So opportunities, and they've made the most of it, and that's how guys get to this league, and that's how guys get to the NHL of somebody's unfortunate injury or trades, and, and guys have been making the most of it. Uh, you got Ridley Gregg back. Uh, just how important of a piece will he be for this team down the stretch? Well, he's, uh, he's an elite player at this level and he's going to help our power play he's going to help our penalty kill and then help us on the face off so he plays in all situations and he's uh, he's a game changer he's in, in games where he's scored a shorthanded goal or scored a power play goal at a big moment he's he rises in those big moments and scores big goals for us so he's a, he's a huge piece is there anything you have to say to a young kid coming back from the NHL like that and obviously there's a little bit of disappointment is there something like Sometimes guys try to do too much when they first come back. Do you have to have a conversation? Uh, so, like some that? guys you do. Ridley Gregg, uh, Ridley Gregg doesn't say a whole lot. And Ridley Gregg is about as even keeled as they come. So Ridley Gregg uh, could be playing at the Montreal Forum sold out or he could be playing in Belleville on a Wednesday night and he's the same guy uh, every night. So it's kind of nice. Nice, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.